Another trend we see in the periodic table is ionization energy. Every element or atom on the periodic table holds on to their electrons with varying amounts of strength. Atoms with high ionization energy require a lot of energy to remove the, an electron because their electrons are tightly held to the atom. Atoms with the low ionization energy do not require a lot of energy to remove an electron. And in that case, because those electrons are more loosely held to the atom. Thinking back to what we know about Coulomb's law on electric force. Electric force increases when the charge increases. So as the number of protons increase, the electrons require more force to remove. So from left to right across the periodic table, the number of protons in the nucleus are increasing. So from left to right, the ionization energy is increasing. As the charges move further apart, so as the positive nucleus and the negative electrons move farther apart, the electric force decreases. As the energy level increases, as you go from energy level one to two to three to four and so on, electrons are located further and further from the nucleus and require less force to be removed. As a result, the ionization energy decreases moving down the groups on the periodic table. Here's a visual representation of the trends that we see in first ionization energies. So as we go across a row of the periodic table, as we're adding a proton um, in the nucleus to that energy level, the ionization energy increases. As we go down a group in the periodic table, we can see that the ionization energy is decreasing as we add an energy level with each new row of the periodic table. In general, the closer an element is to helium up here in the top right corner, the greater the ionization energy. And the closer the element is to cesium down here in the bottom left, corner, the lower the ionization energy. So generally speaking, as you go from bottom left to top right, the ionization energy increases. There are places where this trend is not always perfectly correct, but knowing these general trends is sufficient at this time in this course. Second ionization energy is the energy required to move a second electron, and it is always more than the first ionization energy.